Welcome to the review of ISDT T6 Lite, the smallest product in ISDT T series line of smart chargers. Before continuing, let's quickly check what products the T series consists of. We have T8, T6, and T6 Lite reviewed here. As we can see from the specification page, all three products have a lot in common and share the same design, dimensions, and also the same user interface. They differ internally and have different power specification both on the input and the output. The T8 is the most powerful in the series and the only one that supports 8S batteries. The T6 Lite is the least powerful and T6 lies somewhere in between. Both T6 chargers only support 6S batteries. All three support BATGO technology, however, the T6 Lite has no BATGO support on the input. Since BATGO doesn't seem to be catching on, and I have already published a comprehensive technology overview, link in the description, I will not focus on BATGO in this review. Also, all three products share the same user interface, which I have already covered in detail in my T8 review, and that is the reason I will not go through the menus and explain the user interface in here. For anyone unfamiliar who wants to find out more, please check my T8 review. I will, however, point out the differences between the products, which hopefully should help a potential buyer pick the right charger. Typically for ISDT, the box contents are rather minimalistic. We get the charger itself, a screen protector, some ISDT stickers, and the user manual in English and Chinese which is more of a product information card, really. The inclusion of the screen protector is very welcomed here. Let's have a closer look at the charger. On the front, there's 2.4 inch LCD screen with navigation pad below. On the left, there's XT60 power input, proprietary firmware update port and USB charging port. On the right, there's XT60 power output and balanced charging port. There are some vents on both sides here. And there's nothing on the bottom apart from basic specification and the serial number. As mentioned already, this charger is only compatible with BATGO technology on the output. That means that the XT60 port has an extra pin here for data transfer, which is missing from the input port. As with other ISDT products, the build quality is excellent. There are no gaps anywhere, there's no flexing when applying pressure, and everything is extremely well put together, so no complaints here. ISDT started putting warning stickers on the front of their products, which in my opinion is a good idea, as on some early products, the users were complaining, the screens were scratched or dull, whereas in fact, they simply forgot to remove the protective film from the screens. Let's quickly compare the T6 Lite with the bigger brother, the T8. Apart from the packaging, both products are nearly identical, as they are based on the same design, the main differences are internal here. The front and the bottom are exactly the same. And the only physical differences are BATGO compatible XT60 power input on T8 versus standard XT60 power input on T6 Lite. And also 8S compatible balance port on the T8 versus 6S balance port on T6 Lite. Let's power them up and let me show you a few minor differences between the chargers. By the way, both of them have been updated to the latest firmware available on ISDT website, so there shouldn't be any software related differences here. First the T8 and T6 Lite. The T8 seems a touch louder, but the difference is really almost non-existent here. More about the noise in a minute. 
I'm not sure if the camera picks this up, but the T8 screen has slightly bluish tint, whereas T6 Lite is more yellow-greenish. Personally, I prefer the T8 screen, especially when looking at them side by side. As mentioned already, the menus and the user interface are exactly the same on both chargers. That means that user interactions are also exactly the same. Any differences here relate to the specification and different power outputs and inputs. So the main screen with the individual cell voltages goes up to 8 cells on the T8 and up to 6 cells on T6 Lite because this is 8S charger and this is only 6S charger. Working info screen is exactly the same on both of them. To access the settings menu we press and hold the middle button and everything looks exactly the same on both chargers apart from max input power which is 1100 watts on the T8 and 660 watts on the T6 Lite and also the minimum input voltage range is different on both chargers and these are the only differences when it comes to the system settings menu. The task menu also looks exactly the same on both chargers. Obviously the cell count can be changed on T8 up to 8S and only up to 6S on the T6 Lite. And the current the maximum current also will be different with 30 amps on T8 and 25 amps on the T6 Lite. One minor difference between the chargers relates to the input BATGO compatibility on the T8. When powering the charger using BATGO compatible source we get access to the range of individual cell voltages not available here and also we get access to the data stored on the BATGO chip. But the main difference here is the fact they won't be able to change the maximum input power now since this value will be taken directly from the BATGO chip and also the minimum input voltage here is not accessible. Instead, if you go to the task menu we get an additional menu item which allows us to limit the voltage on the per cell basis. So we can change that from 330 volts per cell to 375 volts per cell. It is a very nice feature but not very useful in reality since there are only two BATGO compatible batteries on the market at the moment and they are not large enough to use them to charge other batteries really. And I think this pretty much covers all the main differences between the chargers and the slight differences in the user interface. Now it's time to have a quick look at the performance of T6 Lite. I don't expect any issues here as generally the ISDT products perform very well, but I will have a look at the voltage and power output readings. I will also check how noisy the charger gets using the same 12 volts power supply unit I used when reviewing the T8. In that way, I will be able to directly compare the noise levels on both chargers. First, let's have a look at the voltage readings. So this should be fully charged battery. And we get 419. Let's check the multimeter now. 420. 420 420 and 420 the total voltage sixteen eighty one so compared to my other chargers it looks like the T6 light undercharges the batteries just a little bit by about 0.01 volts. 
the readings on the um, multimeter are okay, but normally the readings on my multimeter are a little bit higher than on the chargers. So I would say that voltage readings are within the specification. However, if you feel that your T6 light undercharges the battery slightly, you can always either calibrate it or simply select the final voltage from the menu to match your requirements. 1S voltage readings here are inaccurate in exactly the same way they are on the MT8 charger. When we have a look at the multimeter, our battery is charged up to 3.84-85 volts, whereas the reading on the T6 Lite is only 3.4 volts. The good thing is the charging 1S batteries works absolutely fine and there are no issues here. It's only the readings when the battery is plugged into the charger. Let's check the power output readings and compare the charger with the power analyzer. We're looking at the current, the power and the voltage here. You can also check that. And this is the input voltage and power. The readings on the T6 light are always slightly higher than on the power meter. What we can see here is that the bigger the voltage difference between the input and the output, meaning the input being lower than the output, of course, and the higher the current settings, the bigger the difference in readings. It's nothing unusual and it's obviously related to the charge efficiency. However, what this tells us that the T6 light doesn't show the actual output but the set value instead. I wouldn't say it's a major problem but it's definitely something to bear in mind especially if you're thinking about running your charger close to its power output limit. Personally I would prefer if the charger showed the actual values as it simply makes more sense to me. Now the noise and the temperature control. Please note that I'm using a 12 volt power supply to charge a 6S battery which means this is possibly the worst case scenario, but it should demonstrate very well how loud and hot the charger can get. You would normally use probably a 24 volts power supply to charge a 6S battery, in which case the charger will definitely run cooler. The noise in the background is my power supply unit, so please ignore it for the moment. And the ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So when the charger reaches 60 degrees Celsius, the fan starts spinning. I think it's a little bit quieter than the fan on the T8. The difference is not massive, but it seems like it's a... The sound is a little bit more pleasant and has a slightly different pitch. And when the, and when the temperature drops down to 53 degrees Celsius, the fan will stop again. So as you could see, the T6 Lite is not a quiet charger, but considering the size, the power output and the fact that it's actually a touch quieter than the T8, I would say the noise levels are actually acceptable, especially if you know what to expect. I probably wouldn't use it to charge my batteries at night though. And that's all I wanted to show in this video. Since I have already published a comprehensive T8 review and all three products from the T-Series family are based on the same platform and design, I decided not to redo my T8 review and instead compare the T6 Lite to the T8. After using both chargers side by side, it's fair to say that from the user perspective, all three chargers are essentially the same and only differ when it comes to power input and output specification. The T6 Lite is another great product in ISDT portfolio. It's not perfect and there are a few things that could be improved, but it doesn't change the fact that this is a great charger which is a pleasure to use and offers top-notch build quality, original and compact design and quite impressive size to power ratio, not as impressive as T8 though. On top of that, we get a very intuitive user interface and a lovely screen which makes navigating through the menus a breeze. 
And if you want to check out the BATGO technology, the charger is also compatible. The question is, which of the T-series chargers to go for? I guess that purely depends on power output requirements, but personally, I would forget the T6 and T6 Lite and probably go for the T8 since it's only $20 more expensive. However, if you are already buying a charger that exceeds your power delivery requirements, you may as well save a few dollars and go for the T6 Lite. If it was a choice between a regular T6 and the T8, I would definitely recommend the T8 since it's only $10 more expensive. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or would like me to test something specific, please leave a comment below or join the discussion at RC Groups forums. Thank you for watching.